Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Julie and I am the author of the blog CapturingWonderland.com. I have been iced in with all five of my children and my husband. Since he's a teacher, he was off of school for like the last pretty much this entire week. <laughs> and the roads have been so bad that we've just stayed home. And it was so cold that my kids couldn't play outside. And so we were a little bit cabin fevered. And so today is the first day that we were able to like actually get out and go do something. And I felt like I really needed to get some spring inspiration. I don't know about you guys, but when winter gets really like dreary and you're like stuck indoors for a long time, um, I feel the need to go and think about spring, like wash my brain with all of the things green and all of the pretty new decor that is out in stores. And while I am a huge lover of thrifting and I totally push that lifestyle for multiple reasons, I do occasionally go to look at and get inspired by the trends and the new color palettes and all of the goodies that stores put out for their new spring floor sets, basically. And I did actually pick up a couple of goodies and I am going to show you them like at the end of the video. So without further ado, let us go walk through the stores and come and join me and get inspired. So I love walking through Target for multiple reasons. Not only because they do have some really cute stuff in their dollar section, I feel like they are putting a lot of stuff that is old fashioned back into style, like those glass juicing, like I forget what they're called, but they're for actually juicing like citrus. So for oranges and stuff, you can make orange juice and all of that good stuff. And I actually have some older versions of that, but I love that they are bringing it back into style and I feel just inspired by it. I love that feel. that they weren't breakable. This would be like super cute with berries in it. Another reason why I love going into Target is because of the Magnolia Home section, which is pretty much my favorite. I feel like Target as a whole seems to take cues from Joanna Gaines collections and they kind of copy it throughout their store, but for less expensive prices. While I love Joanna Gaines, her I do love a lot of things about her style. She's a little bit too modern for my taste, but she does have a lot of textures and color patterns, color palettes that really draw me in like the blues like the denim blues that she uses a lot. And she uses a lot of pottery and I love that texture too. But I get inspired just looking at her branded merchandise and the acacia wood, like all of that beautiful wood and those tones just speak to my soul. Look at that. What are they calling this? Large Queen Anne's lace. I tell you what, I am on trend. I love Queen Anne's lace. Ooh, I like these things too. They feel, whoa, holy moly, $20. I am too cheap for shopping. With Magnolia Homes. I mean, this, look at this. This watering can is $20, Eric. $20 for this watering can. This water mister, also $20. Also $20, Eric, Eric, Eric. $20, look, 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 look. $20, $20. I don't care, it's tinier, it should be cheaper. That's how my brain works. Well, like this pillow. I'm a sucker for embroidery. $30 for a throw blanket. Oh my gosh, I'm too cheap for this. Ooh, 
Ooh, I like this basket. Holy moly, it's $60. This too. I'm not really sure what I would use it for. A tray. Hmm. Ooh, this is a pretty blue. I don't think it's supposed to be here. Well, maybe. 35. It's pretty though. I like it. Fake. Pompous grass. It's the only kind you should get is fake. Let's see what's on this side. Ooh, pretty flowers. Fake lavender. I cannot wait until my lavender starts blooming. That's pretty. I would pay ten dollars for that, guys. I would. Oh, I love this pillow. This one is also cute. I feel like I could make this, guys. I like all the pillows. I'm gonna have a throw pillow problem. I can already tell. Ooh, that color. That color. Ooh, it's so soft. I love that color, guys. Ferns. I feel like I need more ferns. Yes. I don't purchase most of like pretty much 99% of the stuff in the stores. I love it and I think it's beautiful, but I will not purchase it because I do personally love thrifting and I love to make things myself. So what I do is I will walk through these stores and I will literally take pictures with my phone of the specific items that I personally love that totally speak to me. Or maybe it's a certain color that just keeps popping out at me. And I will just walk through the stores and I will take pictures and I will get inspired and I will kind of create a vision board for myself, especially if there's a specific space that I'm working on. But I mean, I'm working on my whole house. So basically it could be anything that draws my um, attention. These look like old jelly jars for $10. For sure, I've seen stuff like that in thrift stores all the time. Call that a trip. I don't know that that's what I would call it. I like this. But they don't have a pepper one. And I tell you what, guys, I was not let down. I went to Target to Hobby Lobby and to Michael's to look at their spring floor sets. And I got so many great ideas and so inspired by the color palettes. And I feel like some of the color palettes that they are really pushing in those stores are just color palettes that I was already falling in love with as it is. So one of the colors that I just kept seeing over and over again was this really pretty rose-ish like a rosy terracotta color. So it's almost like a pinkish brown and I absolutely love it. I just kept seeing it over and over again in the decor there and I'm really feeling inspired by that color. And the wonderful thing about that color is that it 
goes really well with the blues and the greens that I already love. This is so loud. I like this. A lot. Oh. Uh oh. There's a grinders. Acacia wood. I swear, I feel like Target copies Magnolia Home because this is acacia wood exactly like the ones that she made. But it's salt and pepper. So there's that. I love all the acacia wood. I need another pitcher. This one's pretty. I'm scared to get another pitcher and just having people break it. Oh, I like these. Oh, and look, the old fashioned milk. at the top to keep it in. So I, I will take pictures of a lot of stuff there because honestly there's a lot of things that I can make myself. And this is one of those ways that I almost, I feel like I almost obsess over certain things in my head for so long that when I see them in thrift stores, I immediately know that that could become this thing, you know, like um, uh, they connect the dots almost. So I will take inspiration from these big box stores and then I will go into the thrift store shopping and I will find things or ways to get the looks of these items without that high price tag. This mauve color. love this color. Now I want to paint my dining room that color. These are very retro sheets. These remind me of sheets that my grandmother would have in their house, but oddly enough, I love it. Because seriously, doesn't this color... Not that you would think so, but this color would look very pretty with the blues. Don't tell me what to do. Don't... Tell me what and there's to do. a million other rooms that don't tell me nothing. my business. How much is these? How much is these? I can't even talk. I like these little pillows. Oh my gosh, 20 bucks. I'm too cheap. I need to make these myself. I love the velvet. See, velvet. I really want this color though. I love this color. I feel like this is almost the color that I'm painting the girls' bedroom. Trendy before trendy is trendy. They should just hire me. They should hire me. I really like this rug. But I wish. Oh, it does have tassels. I want. I love it. $50. Uh huh. I started it. I know, we'll just have to go down that aisle. Maybe we have more. This one's pretty. I think, maybe. Maybe it is. Oh, it's on clearance for 140. Do I need another rug? I don't have the money for a rug. But I feel like I want a rug. I love rugs. Ooh, this one is, holy moly, look how bright that one is. I just love the tassels. Too. <sighs> Here it is. These deep, rich colors. This is the one I love. They do not have this in smaller rug form. They just have that tiny little thing. I wanted like a four by six of it, and they don't have it. So I'm in love with a lot of the prints that Target is putting out as like print collections. They have some really beautiful botanical prints and even um, like insect 
prints. Like they had some a uh, set of three bumblebee prints that were super expensive. I think they're like $75. Now I can go into the public domain and I can find similar pieces like that by illustrators that I personally know and like Henry Faber. He was a huge insect illustrator. He just did absolutely fantastic work and I have several of his books and I know that his illustrations are in the public domain. So I can take inspiration from these stores and things that are trending and I can go and I can find a way to get them for almost nothing and make my home on a very small budget. So while I love these stores, I, I don't wanna spend that money and I feel like the quality just isn't there anymore for these stores. It, they make things look like real wood but it's actually pressed wood and I'm not I'm not wanting to pay that kind of money especially for pressed wood so I started in Target and I got a lot of really great inspiration in there and then I went into Michaels and I'll be honest they didn't have a whole lot in Michaels I feel like they're kind of I don't know drifting off or maybe our Michaels is just not that great to save your seeds in. Get prepared for spring, guys. But they only had a couple of sections where I felt like there was merchandise that spoke to me personally for my style and like things that I would actually want in my home. There was a couple of really beautiful pieces though that the almost tchotchke, they look like little um, Easter eggs and they were wooden and they're like tchotchkes. So they open up so you could put a little treat inside of them. I loved those and I will be going back for those. They also had a, a vintage style like um, floating frame kind of thing that I loved as well, but I was definitely not gonna pay $20 for it. So I'll have to wait until it goes on sale. I feel like this is the direction I'm going in for spring. Definitely fronds. $24.99 and I made it for like five. I made a whole bunch of them. This is a cute basket too. But those are really pretty. I definitely love little roses. What are you doing, little child? Little lost child, little homeless child. 
really love about Hobby Lobby's decor is they are definitely pushing in the direction of art, like not art prints, but actual, it looks, they're going for the look of oil paintings without it actually being an oil painting. And I absolutely love that. I love oil paintings and I love that look of that. It almost looks watery, watercolorish, but it's made with oil paints and I just, I love that look. I think it's timeless, it's gorgeous, and they have so many beautiful fake paintings in there. So if you don't have any other option and you're wanting to get that look, Hobby Lobby, again, definitely is the place to look for that kinds of stuff. However, there are so many amazing artists in the public domain that did beautiful oil paintings. And I actually plan on releasing a couple of collections this spring and summer and fall and winter. I want to do collections for each season of the year from these paintings and try out some of those DIY practices that are pretty popular in making things look like they're actually paintings. So I wanna try that out and I will totally do a video all about that process when I get to it, but I'm in so inspired by it. And even without that, you can have them printed out at print shops for almost nothing and put them in a really pretty thrifted frame and they're going to look like a million dollars and they will bring all of that charm and beauty to your walls and just enrich the entire room with them. So those are some of my favorite things. Another one of the really favorite things that I found while I was looking today was just these textured pillows. The embroidery and the faux rug pillows, I know that they do that a lot these days with um, repurposing old rugs. Maybe they're just not as a whole able to be used any longer and then they will cut them into pieces and use them to create pillows. And they're gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. Even the fake ones are beautiful. I love that texture and I love the look of it, mostly because I just love repurposed items. So it just really speaks to me. Target had one of those rug arts, art prints, and I think it's really beautiful, but I'm not gonna pay almost $100 for fake rug prints. One of these days, maybe I'll find a rug and I'll cut it up and I'll make some myself. That would be a really fun project. I style of frame in thrift stores like all the time just needs to be sanded down and distressed to look like that. I love this color green and this deep blue color. Last to be broken. Why spend the money for Magnolia Homes when you could get a an acacia wood board here for $16.99 with 40% off. So there were a couple of items that I really loved, but as a whole, I feel like Hobby Lobby is the place where it's at because they had an entire wall of beautiful acacia wood products. They had a ton of breadboards and charcuterie boards and just in general, just absolutely beautiful things. And all of that stuff right now, because it's their spring, is on 40% off. So even way better prices than you can get similar items at Target. So if you love the things at Target, go to Hobby Lobby because I guarantee you can get some very similar items for half the price. One of my absolute favorite things 
there at Hobby Lobby was the wooden section. I do a lot of photography. I love taking pictures for my blog posts and projects and I just really enjoy the process. So I love to buy photography props. So when I can find something really inexpensive that I know is going to just absolutely give me that feel in a photo, I will totally snap it up. And I did, I found something really beautiful and I was happy to bring it home and I'll show it to you at the end of the video. Charcuterie cones? What now? Yes. I love that. Oh, I like these too. table runner shrink in the wash though. I just figured that out recently. Look guys. <laughs> look, it's a little baby tea pet kettle. And look. Little baby tea cups. would be broken in two seconds in our house, but they're so cute. Overall, I just got really inspired by all of the color palettes that are in there. And definitely that rosy color. It's just so timeless looking, I feel like. And it, it fits in with so many different colors. So it's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm telling you. I was looking at it and I'm like, man, I'm like tempted to paint my dining room again. My husband's all, you don't need to paint your dining room. And I'm like, don't tell me my business. <laughs> but I just love all of the colors. I feel like I need to get into flipping houses just so I can paint the rooms, like all the colors and kind of have a space to experiment with that without it being my own home. <laughs> well, friends, I hope you got inspired for all of the beautiful home decor and color palettes and all of the textures and just the charm that you can bring into your home this coming season of spring and summer. I know that I did. I came out of those stores and I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to look at this footage and I can't wait to look at the photos that I took because just gorgeous colors. So I wanted to show you a couple of the things that I got. I really only got like three things, but I really loved them. So I ended up getting one of these as a photo prop. I love it. It's beautiful. Honestly, if I can find an actual like use for it, I think that they would work in my like flower container maybe, but for any other reason, but to take ph photographs with, I'm fine with it too. I think I paid like $5 for it. So I was good. It's good. Another thing that I got is some wooden coasters. I have bought thrifted coasters before and I have some in the dining room here, but they have cork. And for some reason, these coasters are not great at holding water. They warp. So I'm hoping that these do not warp because they're solid wood. These were also like $4, I think. So really inexpensive and I love to look at them. They're going in my bedroom. And the very last thing that I got was from the Target dollar spot. And I was just imagining this filled with berries. So I'm gonna go into the berry picking season and I'm totally gonna fill this up and take photos with it because it just, it's so cute. I wish that it wasn't breakable, but it is what it is. I really hope that it can make it into the spring season <laughs> and not be killed before the berry season starts. And I feel like even if I put a little bit of that floral stuff in here and then put flowers out there, that this would look absolutely adorable. I got so much inspiration in the floral sections for different flowers to use this year in arrangements. We do have quite a bit of thistle and I had no idea that, I mean, I should have. I, I, there are 
some flowers that you just overlook because they're like weeds and so you don't really think about it but the purple flowers on thistles are absolutely gorgeous and I realized that while I was looking in Michaels and I was like I did not know that I was so attracted to thistle flowers I thought that they were clover flowers which are beautiful as well and they smell delicious and you can actually make jelly from those flowers <laughs> actually <laughs> but I feel inspired to go out into nature this year and maybe I'll take you along with me and find some maybe flowers that we have overlooked and try to make flower arrangements from them. Last year I did a lot with Queen Anne's Lace and that's one of my absolutely favorite flowers and I plan on doing that more this upcoming year and I'm just excited for spring guys. I needed it. I think my soul needed it to, to go through the aisles and, and feel like yes spring is coming up so it will be with us sooner than later. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you've made it this far, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you aren't. I would love to have you here as a part of the community in, at Capturing Wonderland. And don't forget to come back for more great content. I am finishing up that dresser for my entryway and I have a lot of great projects for that entryway coming up. If you didn't watch my plan for the entryway, I'm gonna post that video up here for you so that you can watch it when you're done here. Thanks again, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.